Korea, leading to massive displacement with the signing of the revitalized agreement on resolution of conflict in South Sudan in September 2018, the warring parties committed to supporting conditions for return of civilians to their homes with the promise of confidence building through reconciliation and dialogue. It is therefore critical that IDPs and refugees returning to areas of origin within Central Equatoria will be supported and will receive protection from state and local authorities, humanitarian actors, armed forces, and host communities. This workshop today aims at enhancing the capacities of all stakeholders responsible for managing return and reintegration at county level, state level, to effectively discharge their responsibilities, including managing the relationships between host communities, IDPs, and returnees. It also seeks to address the coordination gaps between humanitarian service providers, the needs of IDPs and returnees, as well as effective information sharing with all stakeholders. We cannot talk about the protection of civilians and then the returns and the reintegration of the IDPs before understanding what could have been done first. The issues of disarmament, demobilization and reintegration as the first step, the very first step to ensure security sector reform is paramount. Because of the inconclusive nature of our DDR in South Sudan, I'm afraid to say it might be one of the reasons why there is a relapse of violence in the country. We understand there is a spontaneous returns, but the spontaneous returns process is being frustrated by relapse of violence. They are suffering. We cannot come out with those responsible for them. We need to prepare in order to resettle our displaced persons. Without leveling the ground for the displaced persons, we will continue to see relapse of violence and that will discourage the IDPs and returnees, voluntary returnees to come back home.